Dr. J welcoming you to the third part of this video and um, in this one we are going to be looking at what's going on in the womb in the third trimester. So at 28 weeks on an average your baby is going to be about 14 to 17 inches long and anywhere between two and a half to three pounds in weight. The body of the baby is getting plump and rounded, the muscle tissue, the bones, um, uh, and other organs and, and everything is growing very well which gives rise to a very filling kind of a, uh, of, of a shape to the, to the body. Um, the skin is very transparent, there's fat deposits under the skin, the eyebrows and the eyelashes have a very well formed, the scalp hair is growing very well, so is the hair on the other parts of the body. The central nervous system is maturing very very rapidly now and it can control the rhythmic breathing pattern and also is capable of handling the regulation of the body temperature at this point. One of the most important things that you have to remember now at this age, at the beginning of the 28th week of pregnancy is that the centers for memory are being laid down in your baby's brain. So all the experiences that your baby is going through, all the noises, all the sounds, all the language, everything that the baby is hearing from the outside world is also being registered in the brain. And the second most important thing to remember is that the emotional centers, the centers for, uh, for happiness, for sadness, for anxiety, for joy, for fun, all those emotional centers are being laid down in the baby's brain and fine-tuned at this time. So really it is extremely important for you to understand that exposing the baby to very high quality language, to a very good, a safe, a happy and an intelligent atmosphere at this point where the baby is growing is, is, is very important and has a large bearing on, on, the, on the eventual behavior and the eventual makeup of your child. Guess what? At 32 weeks your baby is about 17 inches long and 4 pounds in weight. Now at this point you might feel that the baby is not moving enough. But don't be worried, it is just a false alarm because now that the baby is growing, he's cramped for his space in the womb. So in relative terms, yes, the movements may feel less, but the baby is doing fine. All the vital senses now at this age, at 32 weeks, the vision, the taste, the touch, the hearing, the smell, they are fully operational and ready to go. And all the organs, right from the heart to the lungs to the, to the stomach to the intestine to the liver to the uh, kidneys to the spleen, they are all growing very well. And the baby is just getting ready to come out and face the outside world. 36 weeks, 19 inches in length and roughly about 6 pounds in weight and from now on the baby is going to gain 1 ounce of weight every day till the baby delivers. This week you may feel the baby dropping into the birth canal and finally getting into position to start the process of delivery. All the organs are well developed. As you can see, this is a model. This is a male model of the of, of baby at 36 weeks. The, the hair, the eyelashes, the eyes, the nose, the lips, the ears, all the other internal organs, uh, the six organs, the hands and the digits, everything is in place, uh, working wonderfully well and ready to go. So at this point, your baby is really more or less ready to face the outside world. 40 weeks, party time. The baby is now 20 inches long and roughly seven and a half pounds in weight. All the structures are well developed and fully functional right from head to toe. The brain, the eyes, the ears, the heart, the lungs, the internal organs, the muscles, the bones, everything is now complete and the baby is ready to face the outside world. Now we have seen the physical developmental stages of the baby in all the videos that we have made so far. However, there are a few important points that I want to make for the benefit of 
all the young pregnant girls. Now, as you know, that there are critical phases of the development of the baby. And in the first video, I told you at about eight weeks, when the baby is one inch long, just a mere one inch long, all the structures have been laid down, the foundation is there, and they're all present. And at eight weeks, the embryonic stage finishes and the fetal stage of life begins. And from eight week onward till the time the baby delivers, the only thing that happens is the baby grows in size. So the first eight weeks when the structures are being formed, and as you know, earlier on, when, when we talk, uh, 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 talked about the four weeks you know, stage, the most critical thing over there was happening was that the neural tube was being formed and the neural tube was getting fused and that was laying the foundation for the, for the brain and the spinal cord. And one of the important things that you need to do at this time, in fact, you know what, I always say that even prior to conception, you need to prepare yourself on two fronts. Number one, psychological and number two, physical. So psychologically, you need to be, to be ready so that you're in a happy frame of mind, you are in a frame of mind where you're going to enjoy your pregnancy and you're looking forward to it because that has a large bearing on your hormonal composition and ultimately on, on the developing baby. And number two, your nutrition plays an important part in, in preparing your uterus for, for conception and for the implantation of the baby. And folic acid is a very important vitamin to take even prior to your conception because folic acid uh, helps or, or promotes the closure of the, of the neural tube uh, in the earlier uh, days of, of pregnancy and a lack of, of folic acid in food can lead to neural tube defects. So the first eight weeks are very important because everything is being formed, laid down and after that is only going to grow. Now, once you have entered the second trimester or the third trimester, and when the baby is growing in size very rapidly, then again, you have to be very, very careful because remember the, the, the quality of the placenta, this is just a, a dummy that I've made for the, for the placenta. Placenta is a very, uh, very fleshy, very meshy uh, uh, organ that is implanted into the uterus. And from the placenta, of course, comes the uh, umbilical cord that goes uh, into the baby. And all the nutrition, everything that is there in the mother's circulation through the placenta and through the, through, the, uh, through the umbilical cord goes to the baby. So the quality of the placenta as to how healthy the placenta is, is very important in terms of, of the growth of the baby. And the growth of the placenta and the function of the placenta depends on two main factors. Number one, your nutrition. So if your nutrition is good during pregnancy, the, the, the placenta is going to be healthy, whereby it's going, to, it's, going to, it's going to let more nutrients go into the baby. And number two, the health of the placenta depends on your hormonal composition. This is something that we will discuss more in detail because your hormonal composition is extremely important in the functioning of the placenta. The third thing that I want to talk about is that once you are about to deliver, speak to your doctor, speak to the, to the staff at the delivery room and please tell them that soon after birth, right away after birth in fact, you want the baby all by yourself for about 30 to 45 minutes. And the golden advice that I can give you all is that once you have the baby, lay the baby on your bare chest and be in absolute intimate and absolute close contact with the baby you know, touching the baby, rubbing the baby from head to toe and talking to the baby in the most uh, loving, most affectionate manner, the, 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 the best language that you can use for the baby. Because these 30 minutes or these 45 minutes of the first bonding with the baby have a huge impact on your relationship with the baby in the future and not only on the relationship with yourself, but for the entire emotional makeup of your baby in the, in the future. So. Please make use of this time, the, the first 30 to 45 minutes right after, uh, after birth and this is going to make you and your baby very, very happy in the future. So once again, I wish you a wonderful and a very, very happy pregnancy and I wish you a safe delivery. 
and a healthy and a happy child. Thank you for watching this video.